Hello everyone, today we're going to cover how to create these pop-up modals. These will essentially allow you to create uh, a modal out of any action in your application. For this one, we're going to be using the new action so we can, you know, create a post here. Uh, and then if we click, you know, create, it'll still redirect us. But of course, we can change that however we want to. Uh, but we can also come in here and if we click cancel, it just gets rid of that pop-up. So we're going to be implementing that logic sort of as like a base case that you can then expand to any other action you would like. So to do this, we're just going to quickly create a new Rails app. So we'll say Rails new video, and we're not going to be using Bootstrap or anything else. We're actually just going to create this CSS from scratch. Uh, and by create, I mean, we're going to copy and paste what I created about five minutes prior to making this video. Uh, and then we can just go from there. So we're going to go ahead and CD into our video increase the font size. The only thing we really do here is create a scaffold for our posts where each post has a title and let me hit F11 here and a body of type text. That way we can have some form to mess around with. And then we can do a rails DB colon migrate. Uh, we are going to be using a stimulus controller for this. So we can do a rails G stimulus and we'll just call this the modals controller. Go ahead and run that. And now we can run a code dot and then we can run a rails S. We'll run the code dot, open this up in VS Code, and then we can run a Rails S and hit F11 again to exit out of the full screen. I'll go ahead and drag this over. We can go ahead and close the Welcome tab, and then we'll hit Control Plus a couple times to increase the size of this and close out of all of these errors. We can then come into our config and our routes.rb uh, because the first thing we always do is change the root of our application because I'm an incredibly lazy person and I can't be bothered. So we'll do this, we'll come over to localhost port 3000, and now we have that basic CRUD app here that's working as expected, right? So we'll just go ahead and create a post and come back to our homepage. So to actually create the modal uh, styling, we can come into our app and our assets and our style sheets, our application.scss. And in here, we're just going to copy and paste the styles that I have. Uh, code will be available in the video description. Nobody really wants to watch me, you know, type out a bunch of CSS. So here's the three things we're using. We have the modal itself, which just has like a drop shadow that we use, uh, changes the background color a little bit and sets the position to be, this right here is how we do the centering of the div, right? So this is like how to center. So this is just uh, the centering block. Um, and then we set like the Z index of one, so it's in front of everything, right? So by doing this, we've effectively created that little pop-up. Now what we have to do is we have to tell it where this pop-up is gonna exist, right? So to do this, there's two steps. The first one is in our application.html.erb file, we actually need to uh, it like forward declare the, the turbo frame tag we're gonna be using. So in this case, we're just gonna give it the, the ID of modal. So if we save this and then refresh and hit control shift I, and if we scroll in a bit so you can actually read this, if we come into our elements, you can see right here, just by giving it the string with the modal, that's what gives it this ID. Uh, so you could, in theory, then select this div with an ID right here, or this turbo frame tag with an ID. So if we come in here, we can do like a document dot get element by ID and then grab the modal, right? And that'll select it the same as if we had like a uh, div with an ID equal to modal. So that's just one thing to be aware of. It's not really relevant for this tutorial, but it's just something I like to point out uh, because at the end of the day, you are still just using, you know, JavaScript and, and HTML here. There's really nothing super fancy happening. Uh, so we can then close out of our application.html and we can come over to our side panel and now we can come into our posts and our new page uh, because in our new page, we're going to be doing a couple changes. So overall, uh, the only real thing we have to do here is we have to wrap the, the page we want to use inside of a turbo frame tag. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure the turbo frame tag matches the modal we had in the application.html.erb. So they're going to have the same ID uh, and we'll see why in a second here, but we do this. And then optionally, if you want to style this, the way that I have it set up to style, it grabs a div with an ID of, or with a class of modal as well. So you could then come in here and just do a dot modal like that. And then we wrap everything in here. So if you wanted to abstract this out, you could then take all of this and put this into like a, a partial and then just render the contents of the page inside of that partial, which would be this stuff right here. But in our case, we're just going to put this all inside of our new.html.erb file. Now, the last thing we really have to do here, oops, is 
uh, we have to come into our link to here, which is this little black right here, and we have to replace this. So we don't want this to say back to posts. We want this to say cancel. Uh, this is then going to take us to some URL that doesn't matter. You could even just leave it as, as nil if you wanted to. I'm going to just put in the hash because that's what I like. Uh, and then instead of having the post path here, we're going to have some data. And this data is going to be our stimulus controller. So we're going to say this has a controller of modals and it's going to have an action in that controller. And because we're using the events, uh, I like to do a modals and then a close action. So this is controller action similar to our routes where we have the controller action. This is just happening in JavaScript land instead, right? Uh, and then the last thing we have to do is give this a class for the awful styling that I came up with. And we just grab this cancel button class right here, which just has the color and then it has a hover that's slightly lighter color. So all I really do is I click on it and then I just drag it over a little bit to change the color to be a little bit lighter. So we can put that class in here and then that is largely done now. Now let's come into our index.html.erb file because this is where the actual magic happens in terms of like what we're doing here. So if we leave it like this, we can come in here, we can refresh, we can click new post and you'll see that it takes us to slash post slash new where we have this CSS here, but uh, it's still not quite working right. So how do we get it to actually do that replace? Well, if we click cancel here, we can come up here, we can scroll up, we can see this references that undefined action. That's not why it's not closing. Uh, well, I guess it, it sort of is, but the way we get it to replace that application.html.erb file or that, uh, that turbo frame tag is we give this some data and then in this data, we specifically tell it which turbo frame we're gonna be replacing. Uh, and then in this case, we are replacing the modal turbo frame. So if we now save this, we can come up here and refresh. If we now click new post, you'll see this pops up. We can then click cancel and you can see it goes away and it works just like we would expect it to. Uh, the key here is by telling it which turbo frame is the target. If we hit control shift I and we move this over so we can see a bit better. Uh, if we come up here, I'll click on elements. We can see we have this div with an ID of modal right here or this turbo frame tag. If we click this, it then replaces the, the contents of it with that SRC and it loads it in, right? So what this is doing is it's telling it, hey, the, the target for what this new post path, uh, instead of like doing a new page, we're telling it to go to this turbo frame, which is the turbo frame that's in our application.html.erb. So it targets this one with the contents of the link and the contents of the link are this new post path, right? So we could in theory take this and you know do something similar. Maybe we come in to show this post uh, and then for your edit post, you do something similar where you have a, a data target and then you change the edit page, right? So we come in here, we come into the edit.html.urb uh, and in here we grab the stuff in the new page. So we grab these two we wrap the edit in here. We can then come down here and paste the closing tags, right? And then for the actual edit link, which happens on the show page, which is right here, we have to tell it what the target is, which is of course going to be that data with a turbo frame of modal, right? And then for the actual, uh, the editing right here, if we click the edit button, it'll open up this modal, it'll work just fine. And then we need a cancel button, right? So in our edit page, instead of having back to post, we might change this to say cancel. This would then be a stubbed out path. And then it would have some data with a controller again. And this is gonna match what this uh, button is right here, right? So we can come back, we can paste this in, uh, get rid of this closing brace here. So by doing this, we now have the ability to also edit a post, right? So we can click edit, we can click cancel, and it works just like you would expect it to. But you'll notice here, you'll notice that right now, if I, uh, let's say I come back to the root path and I click on uh, new post, and then I, I hit enter here a couple times. If I click cancel, you'll see that we are actually get doing a get request right here. And then we're doing another get request right here where we're loading the root, right? So we're not actually cancel or we're not closing this uh, when we click on this. We're, we're actually reloading the page. So we need to change that. So we'll come into our JavaScript, our controllers and our modals controller. And then in our modals controller, we just want to very quickly create that close action. 
Now the close action takes in an E and that E is going to be your event, which is your prevent default event. So that's going to stop it from redirecting. So if we comment this part out right here, we'll just refresh the page. If we click new post now and we click cancel, you'll see we aren't refreshing the page anymore. So if I click cancel, nothing happens in our terminal down here. Uh, but because we're not refreshing the page, it means that we're not uh, closing the modal. So if we get rid of this and now if we click new post and click cancel, it'll look like it's going away, but we're refreshing the page. So that's not what we want. Instead, we can then grab that uh, modal that we have with the div and an ID, oops, it, which is uh, going to be that modal at the top in our application.html.erb file that we are replacing here. Uh, and we grab that modal and we just set the inner HTML of it back to being empty like it was initially. So if we then come in here, we uh, refresh, we click new post. If we now click cancel, you'll see that that goes away. Now, optionally, you can then get rid of the source and the complete if you're so inclined uh, by changing the, the attributes. So we could come down here and we could say like, remove the SRC attribute from the modal. And then you can come in here uh, and I don't know why it's trying to do that, but we can do like a modal dot remove attribute SRC. Uh, and then we can do a uh, remove uh, complete attribute, right? So we come in here and we get rid of that. So if we refresh now, we click new post, we then click cancel. It gets rid of those two and resets it to the default if that's what you're, you're interested in. Uh, but this allows us to effectively do this on all of our pages now. We come into show, we click edit, right? We change this to be like, I don't know, test in case. We click update. It'll refresh the page. Again, you can change that functionality. We have plenty of tutorials on the channel that cover how to do that without refreshing. Um, but it at least allows you to change some of the stuff to being modals already so that you uh, don't, you know, have to refresh. You don't have to visit new pages when you're, when you're working, which is a more polished workflow, of course. Uh, so if we come in here to the homepage, let me just make sure we can see this. If we click new, we grab the new post right here. But now if we click cancel, uh, that new shouldn't get moved because we're not reloading. But yeah, I just wanted to cover this real quick because uh, it's pretty easy to implement. The controller here does a lot of the heavy lifting. Uh, and then the rest of what you're really doing is just these two tags, your link, and then whatever's in your uh, application.html.erb file for your turbo frame tag. Uh, and then of course the final step is to add that data turbo frame modal here for your link, which we also do when we are on the show page. We have this edit where we tell it the data is that turbo frame modal. But yeah, uh, hopefully this was interesting. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial.